did you know anything about chess before you started uh, the movie? No, nothing. But it's it's strange, you know. I think a lot of people. Obviously, chess is a huge part of it, um, but it never scared me. It never intimidated me because I just felt so connected to Beth, and I felt so connected to her passion that I just completely understood how this talent that she had and this passion and this love that she had was a way of escaping the life that you know potentially she would have had and made her feel like she had something of value that she could add to the world and so i just i connected into that and through that i fell in love with chess as beth if that makes sense good how lucid are your dreams <laughs> They're very lucid. <laughs> I feel like it's crazy because we're looking at each other through a computer screen, but I feel like you're looking right through me. I have very intense, mm -hmm. very lucid dreams. Yes. I do that to people. I have recurring <laughs> dreams too, and they freak me out. They're like, great. But the next day when I'm trying to describe them to somebody, they're just like, that sounds really traumatic. And I'm like, no, it was, it was beautiful. It's just, you know, it's, it's clearly showing up something that I have to deal with in, in this reality. On a scale of one to 10, um, how would you say your ability to manifest things or speak things into existence? What do you think your rate is? I don't want to rate myself, but I do think there's a reason it's called spelling. Words are spells, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, if you it's difficult because i think especially if someone's going through a really hard time and your advice is just see it honestly like mm. just see it and believe in it with all of your heart and i swear it's going to come to you that can be something that's difficult to translate but when when you see it happening it's it's just the truth if that makes sense oh it makes all the sense in the world i just wanted to hear you say it <laughs> <laughs> i just you know, I see you. I see you. Thank you. I think you see me. That's mm -hmm. the funny thing. Mm -hmm. But we, I see you. We You're. See you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, I'm just nah, no, but, 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 but Anya, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but bro. What I made do. you ask about the dreams? Because you can see. No, no, you can't. What made you ask? You see it. I'm trying to figure out what made you ask. You see it. So help me see why you asked about dreams. What do you see, basically? What do y'all see that me and Scott <laughs> trying to see? It's a, you know what? It is the 50-yard line between what I'm looking at and what I'm listening to. Got you. That space in between is not empty. That's all feeling. So she's just vibrating like super hard, like super intense. She vibrates. So like, listen. I, you, you can feel that. I do. I can feel the same thing. I'm watching you. I'm seeing you on the 50-yard line, and two. <laughs> but I'm just trying to figure out, like, these are things I just asked my brother. Like, he, he, he I'll be feeling it, but he's, he's translating it way better. And I know Scott is. Scott feel it, too. Like, we're fans. We, we, we blown away and all that. But he just be communicating it so, so much better that I just wanted to ask him, like, what made you say or ask her about her dreams? And then I'm like, shit, that's something I want to know. But I just, it, I wouldn't have never asked you. So I just, I just wanted to see where he was. You know. Because her, your, her dreams, like the thing is, is like your, your dreams are literally like your mind communicating things to you in a, in a language it knows that you'll receive better. Mm. Right? Yes. So it, your mind is super creative. Your, your mind tells you way more than what you think. Like right. your mind is like, the key to everything, including your deep down ambitions, feelings, mm -hmm. you know, subconscious like notions, those things, sometimes they float to the surface of your dreams and your dream will clad it in a, in a, in a, in a more digestible language i guess or 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 digest digestible uh matrix where it's like okay we're going to present it to you in this world you're in this house this person and that person but all of it is symbolic gotcha and they also tell you oh sorry you go you go no 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 i was just going to say when she's when you're speaking 
I can hear how your mind works. You cannot not have like, you know, lucid dreams and intense dreams and you can't you can't you don't speak like that see th those are all byproducts of all the same thing gotcha. if that makes any sense no it totally makes sense so you gotta read more scott <laughs> i just want to know why all my dreams are me like rescuing my dog in fires or shootouts or... <laughs> see that's because your mind is is your mind is is a terrible thing and it, and it's putting together dreams of you and this architectural way that you're and the dog is going to be symbolic i don't know scott I'm just you know you're a freestyle well freestyle? you clearly love your dog very much and it's like a, it's a symbol yeah. of you losing something or having to protect the things that you love and the things that make you feel safe mm -hmm. that's the real reason but um uh -huh. no about dreams i was just gonna say that they're also a very good way of showing you what you in your waking life don't want to know or mm. are like putting a ton of stuff on top of or distracting yourself. These human beings, we're, we're incredible, but like we're so good at adapting, but we're also so good at forgetting all of the lessons that we learn. Like that's why I love, just gonna get really witchy for a second, but that's why I love paying attention to the moon because the moon, you know, there's a new moon and a full moon every single month, which means that you, if you like choose to commune with it, you get to sit down and like implement the lessons that you're learning and think about what it is because otherwise you'll forget. It's way too easy to forget. There's too many distractions. Yep. Wow. These are all facts, by the way. Mm -hmm. The moon is a re the the moon is the resetter. That's why, like, interestingly enough, and in, and in indigenous communities they call when a woman is going through her cycle, yeah, it's her going on her moon. It's mm -hmm. a, it's the same thing. It's like there's a resetting that's going on you know, in our atmosphere when the moon comes out and it's a resetting that goes on in a, fem a female's body when she goes through her cycle. Her moon. Literally that. On, Interesting um, that it's the same amount of days. On, on the last crazy. full moon, I was, in a, I was in Ireland and I had this incredible apartment that had floor to ceiling windows and, you know, the poor kids in Ireland, like they haven't gone out very much recently so they've been setting off fireworks all over the place and I could see all of these crazy fireworks going off in my apartment I lit a ton of candles and then I just like cried for hours listening to Mary J. Blige's doubt like over and over and over again. <laughs> and it was the most wonderful, cathartic, like, and this was before the show came out. And I was like, why am I crying? I don't know, but clearly I need to like, let go of something. And then the show came out and I was like, oh, okay, that's why I was crying. Got it. Now I understand it. Hmm. That's so interesting. This got so deep so quickly. <laughs> I know, but you know what? I couldn't. I couldn't resist because it's like, man, I see you. I see you. You're you're something else. And I and I kind of sensed it in the. You know, sometimes people like are such good actors that you know you meet them and you're like, wow, you're really a good actor. You're not half of what I thought you were. And you know, sometimes they're just great actors. And then there are people who are like such great actors, but they they're vibrating when they're doing what they do and you're that to me like i knew i knew I, I when i saw you i was like oh she is i'd like to say one of us but the problem with that is it just it just sounds like hubris like oh, well, one mm -hmm. of me that's it's not what i mean i just mean people who are like really in tune with uh the unforeseen yeah you know cuz yeah. we can f and and the way you know it is when you feel it that's when you know it's there like well, you don't see heat, but you can feel it. Yeah, completely. Mm. Well, it's it's wild with Beth actually because she um. I I knew the second I finished the book, I was just like, okay, this is going to be an experience. And I've never given as much of myself to a character before. I always, you know, I loved acting because it allowed me to feel empathy for other people, and it made me feel like I could give them a voice that was non judgmental and kind and yeah, empathetic in a way that, you know, maybe when I was a kid, I didn't necessarily always feel seen or heard. So I kind of went for the underdogs. Whilst with Beth, I was like, I'm going to have to give her a ton of myself. And um, yeah, when I would go to work, kind of speaking about the method thing, it, it was wonderful because I was never reaching for emotion, but also like she and I were just so parallel at that point. You know, she was having a bad day. 
I would get to work and be like, why do I feel so anxious and sad? Like there's nothing going wrong with my life. And I'm like, ah, oh, they're her feelings. You have to mm. be able to separate them, but at the same time, just accept that you're going to have a shitty day today and, you know, put it on screen and, and give it to the character. Um, it was, it was wonderful. It was so cathartic and I'm so grateful that I had a director who, you know, he's like, Scott's like a dad to me. He adopted me immediately and he was so open to me being that connected to the character. He never made me feel like I was, I don't know, silly or overwhelmed. Um, he just kind of let me go with it. Other tone.